Welcome to the live streaming of the Holy Mass from the Redemptus Media Center. Let us pray for the following intentions during this sacred celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we are in the Easter tide. We are in the octave of Easter. We have just celebrated the resurrection of the Lord, the Paschal Mysteries. And the season reminds us that we are Easter people. We are Alleluia people. The Lord has truly risen and the Lord invites us to lead a life of the repentance constantly and consistently in our thoughts, words and in our actions. The life of discipleship, being the disciple of the Lord, has to be constant and consistent. For those moments of our failures, let us ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people God. of goodwill. We, we praise you. We, we bless you. We adore you. We, you. we glorify you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King. King. O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord, You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with, with the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us Paschal remedies, endow your people with the heavenly gifts, so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Repent, 
and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jews, Let all the house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and Peter said to the rest of the apostles, Brother, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent, and be, be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sin, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, and for your children, and for all who are far off. Everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself, and with many other word, he bore witness, and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his words were baptized, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Oriel Psalm. Our response is His merciful love fills the earth. His merciful love fills the earth. The word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and his merciful love fills the earth. His merciful love fills the earth. Yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who fear Him, who hope in His merciful love, to rescue their soul from death, to keep them alive in famine. His merciful love fills the earth. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. May your merciful love be upon us as we wait in you, O Lord. His merciful love fills the earth. Kindly stand for the Gospel. Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to His name. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to His name. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. And as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Having said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Je Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the nature provides us with the cycle of four seasons, the winter, the spring, the summer and the autumn. In India, most part of uh, India has got three seasons, hot, hotter and hottest. But of course, we have these four seasons and uh, these four seasons has got its own uh, cycle and its own nature and um, its own varieties of um, um, flowers or fruits or vegetables. So they are seasonal. The liturgical year has got seasons. There's Advent season. There is the Easter season, uh, there is Christmas season, and there is Lenten season, there is Easter season, and there is ordinary time. Now the question is, which, uh, which season is the best season to bear fruit as a Christian? Which season invites us to lead a faithful life as Christian? Not just one season. All seasons. Our life as Christians needs to bear fruit not just during one season and be um, led in other way in the other season. No. In all season, in and out, we are called to lead a faithful life as Christians constantly and consistently. We have in the Gospel of Mark where Jesus begins his ministry with a message. The time has come, repent and believe in the good news. Then when he concludes and ascends to heaven, he gives that same command to his disciples. Preach the good news and call for repentance, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And then when the apostles begin their ministry, as we heard it in the first reading today, on the day of Pentecost, and when Peter has explained all that has happened, all those who were standing there asked Peter, brothers, what shall we do? And Peter responds, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. The message of repentance, therefore, dear brothers and sisters, it is not seasonal. It is not the time of uh, Advent or it is not just a time of Lent. Of course, the liturgical year has got its own readings and uh, it, it, its own significance. And we would have definitely taken an extra ounce of effort to lead our life as a Christian in a more meaningful manner in the season of Lent. Uh, extra time of prayer, extra time to read the read and reflect the scripture or partake in the in the sacraments or some extra uh, effort to uh, lead a penitent life. But it is not seasonal. It doesn't end uh, our life as a fruit-bearing Christian does not end once the Lent is over. Now we are in the season of Easter. We are hallelujah people. Therefore, though all that repentant life is over. No. It is unseasonal. It has to be all the time, constantly and consistently. Our life as a Christian has to bear fruit all the time. Every time, very specially. Very specially. Whenever we make a choice, whenever we make a decision, we have to make sure that it is in the favor of the Lord. It is according to the values that is being brought forth by Jesus that's been given in the Gospels. And that is a challenge. You know, in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3, the wise man says, there is season, a season to be born, a season to die, and there's a season to uh, sow, and there's a season to reap. Yes, every, there's a season to mourn, there's a season to, cr to, to laugh. Every aspect of life has got a season. But very, very cleverly, the, the wise man avoids to say there is a season to sin. There is no season to sin. In, the, in, the, in, the, um, in, the, in his letter to Romans chapter 8, St. Paul again brings forth, Who can separate us from the love of Christ? 
And he, when he enumerates number of things, will that separate? Will pestilence separate? Will f f um, um, uh, f farming uh, separate? Will, will sword separate us? Nothing. No power can separate us from the love of Christ. Again, he wisely avoids a particular category that can separate us from the love of God. A hard heartedness. It is not that Christ will separate us, separate himself from us, but the hard hearted person separates herself from Christ and alienates herself from the love of Christ. And therefore, this, the, the, the life of a discipleship has to bear fruit not just in one season. There's nothing like that. It's not a seasonal Christian life that we are called to always all through our life, in all our decisions, in all our thoughts, in all our words, and in all our actions, we are called to be constantly and consistently Christians, bearing fruit in the Spirit of the Lord. As we partake in this Holy Eucharist, as we are nourished by the same Lord in this Eucharistic meal, let us ask for His grace that we may bear fruit as Christians, in all our thoughts, words, and in all our actions, constantly and consistently a Christian, a true and worthy Christian life. Amen. Are you tired of chasing Are you tired of spinning round and round? Wrap up all the shattered dreams of your life And at the feet of Jesus lay them that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always, at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you it more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and eat of it but this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it but this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith and we eat this bread and bring this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the francis our pope peter our archbishop and all the clergy and the entire humanity Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ Through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen Let us pray with confidence the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And as we have fallen into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. that by the help of your mercy we may be always so free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb Lord I'm not Lord, worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof but only, only say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed My Jesus I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to possess you within my soul Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart 
I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer, Prayer for, for the, the end, end of the, the pandemic. pandemic. Almighty, Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you asking for the end of the pandemic currently ravaging our world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray for all governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, Christ your, your Son, our Lord, Lord and Redeemer. Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, thank you for joining us for this Eucharistic celebration and uh, wish you all have a good day. And kindly join us for this evening, um, the Rosary at 7 p.m. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist is offered. Let us go and love the Lord in one another. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Great things happen when God makes us with us. Great things happen when God makes us with us. Great and beautiful, wonderful things. Great things happen when God makes us with us. Some find life, some find peace, some people also find joy. Some see things as they never could before, and some people find that they can now begin to trust. Great things happen when God makes us. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Great